In this video, I'll show you how to change the Wi-Fi IP configuration from static to DHCP. This is on Android, Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, but this is going to work very similar on most Android phones. The reason you might want to change from static to DHCP, if you, if you had it on static and you want to automatically assign the IP, maybe there is something wrong with the Wi-Fi and it's not working, the easiest way to make sure you have the right settings is to change it change the Wi-Fi settings to DHCP. The DHCP gives you an automatic IP and I will check now there is internet so it is working but you might not have internet. You might There might be a problem with the, the DNS, it might not work, you might not be able to open any websites. But if you go to 5G to mobile data and then it works, then it's a problem with the Wi-Fi. First thing I would say is just restart the phone, restart the device before you're doing anything else because it might be just a problem with the phone or you can even tr try something more interesting to set airplane mode for a few seconds and then set it back to make sure that the, um, there are no glitches in the connectivity on the phone. If you did that and it's still not working and you still want to set the IP address to DHCP, actually it's a good idea to have the IP of your phone set to DHCP and I go to settings in the settings, you find the network you want to change the settings for this. It's individual for each network type here. And I press on the settings. For this network, I have all the information here and I see the IP address 192.168.7.30. I set this manually earlier for a test. I usually have the IP address set to DHCP, so it's automatically changed from the router. And if I wanted to have a specific email address, I would change it in the DHCP server on the router to be that specific IP and not just a random one. And uh, these are the DNS settings. The subnet mask doesn't really matter. It's uh, it's always the same, especially on most home networks. And the gateway, the gateway is what matters here. And to change it to DHCP, you have the pencil icon there. So when you're on the network, you see the name of the network, network details, and then the pencil. Here you can change the password and you can show the password. If you updated the password of your Wi-Fi, you can change it here, but I can also change the settings for the IP. So you see, I already have this manual set IP settings and I set DNS and uh, DNS second backup DNS, the network prefix, IP address and gateway. These are the most important. And you see here, I have IP settings set to static and all you have to do to set your IP to automatically be received from the router, set it to DHCP, save, and it's already, this was the previous address I had before, automatically assigned 192.168.7.223. This could be changed in the DHCP server, but it doesn't really matter. Now, this, this address, if there is a setting, something configuration settings that are changed on the server, on the DHCP server, on the router, this will be updated automatically so I don't have to go to the phone and change the setting. That's how you change the phone from static to DHCP. If you had a problem with the internet, now you should not have it anymore. So you should have the connection going straight. The website should be loading. But you can always do the test with the 5G to make sure that the, the websites are loading on 5G. And if they are loading on 5G, then it's a problem with the Wi-Fi. But really, a restart of the phone usually fixes the problem. I always have the phone on DHCP anyway. I had it on static. The only reason why you might want to have the IP settings on static is to have a different DNS server. On some devices, you might be able to have the IP address automatic, but DHCP server to be static. In my case, I receive, in my case, I get the DHCP settings and the DNS settings all from the router. So it's easier like that from the device. It can be updated automatically. Hope it wasn't too much talk. Thanks for watching.